Developing out of North Korea, the country's government releasing new details about the U.S. soldier who crossed into its territory last month during a civilian tour. NBC's Janice Mackey Fryer has the latest. For the first time, North Korea confirming custody of Travis King, the American soldier who did a cross-border dash last month into North Korean territory. State-run KCNA now claiming private second-class King, who's 23, wants to seek refuge there or in a third country. A statement saying he confessed to illegally entering to escape, quote, maltreatment and racial discrimination within the U.S. Army, adding he was disillusioned with the unequal American society. Even if the North Koreans were to come out and say he wants to defect, we wouldn't be able to trust those words because they would be uh, not coming from Private King himself. King bolted during a private group tour of the heavily fortified Demilitarized Zone, or DMZ, separating North and South. He had spent time at a South Korean prison on assault charges and was due to return to the U.S. The Defense Department telling NBC News it couldn't verify North Korea's comments about Private King, adding, quote, we remain focused on his safe return. His family back in Wisconsin is concerned, telling NBC News last month, I hope you come home soon and can start back over. President Biden set to host leaders from South Korea and Japan at Camp David, where the growing threat of Kim Jong-un's weapons program will top the agenda. I expect that at some point Travis King will be put on trial in North Korea and that he will be um, uh, given a sentence. North Korea saying nothing about King's well-being or what he faces.